Oh, you just, we just recording. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey everyone, this is Road to Blackbird, a multimedia art experience with me, D. Colin. I've been trying to do this video for a while now. <laughs> like, um, if I told you the journey, I mean, I just thought I lost the whole thing and then I, I deleted clips and just, it's it's been really something. So I've been behind on my behind the scenes videos but this is behind the scenes um leading up to the show and i think i'll do a separate video for like a reflection on my fish market experience just what i learned about hanging art and um just being in a space where i could create and be um in community with people and stretch you know, and all the all the really special moments that I had in the fish market, like this one, uh, which was my birthday. So anyway, here we go into the fish market and Blackbird. This was the first painting in the Blackbird collection that I worked on um, and it was a great learning experience. It also, I think I spent the most time on this painting in particular um, and it shows, it's the most finished piece out of the pieces that I showed um, and it took me a really long time. I started it in February and I think I stopped working on it sometime in May um, and a lot of that had to do with the need for breaks you know I was painting through physical pain I was going to physical therapy multiple times a week and I couldn't paint for a really long time so this painting took the most time and effort and energy and perseverance <laughs> to to complete um, but I love the way that it came out. So for this show, I really wanted to stretch myself and do things that I hadn't done before. And one of the first things I did that I've never done before was buy a canvas roll. Um, this was really important for me to just like learn how to stretch canvas, mount the canvas, prime the canvas. I'm usually buying canvas from like prepped canvas from Michael's or uh, another art store like Arlene's. I love Jerry's Art of Mama in um, Hartford, although I don't get to go there often. Um, but I had to like really like learn how to do this. So I, I had tried to do a stapler to put it up there. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> and I didn't have the right stapler and um, then I tried, I didn't, then I had a, a stapler, but I didn't have the right staples. Then I tried thumbtacks. And as you saw, thumbtacks, it wasn't really fully effective. Um, and finally, I figured out that I could just use blue tape. <laughs> so, so you'll probably notice later on in the video that there's blue tape. And if you came to the fish market at any point during my residency, you saw blue tape. And I wish I had figured that out sooner because 
um the painting that has the blue tape all the way around the edges are so crisp so i think that's what i'm gonna do from now on but you know you live and you learn you live and you learn i'm just watching myself paint this background and when i was doing this i really didn't have an idea of what i was going to what it was going to be I was just um, blending colors and seeing what kind of mood I knew. I kind of knew the mood. I didn't know what the image was going to be exactly. Um, so it has a, a few things swimming around in my head, but I really didn't know. And I was like, well, let me just put down some colors and see what happens. Um, and I had already had like a blue sky in the, the sunflower piece. So I tried a different different color scheme here <laughs> yeah because why didn't we use blue tape before <laughs> Shout out to Robert for recording this clip here and for keeping me company <laughs> at the fish market. There's a lot of open hours where um, it was just me and him and that was really encouraging for me. The other thing that I did uh, for this show that was brand new was singing and um, there were a lot of clips that you know folks in the audience didn't get to hear but I included them in this video so here it is you hear that that's me experimenting with the loop for the first time Doing a thing.
definitely just almost tripped. And that's it. Just as quick as I set up for the show, the show is over. Um, but moving out of the fish market and being there for six months really gave me the, the motivation I needed to look for a studio of my own. So stay tuned for that because it's coming up. Thank you all for supporting the journey and I'll see you in the next behind the scenes.